Okay, in this video I just want to talk about finding the domain of a multivariable function. So um, I've got the two examples here that I'm going to do. So the first one uh, will have the natural logarithm of x plus y plus 1, excuse me, minus 1, and then the second one, uh, square root y minus x squared over 1 minus x squared. Um, the basic idea, again, you know, in, uh, if, you're, if you just have uh, two variables, say if y is a function of x, in that case, our domain is always just some set of x coordinates, you know, depending on obviously the function at hand. Um, but in this case, we've we've got two variables, um, x and y. So now our domain, instead of just being some interval of x coordinates, our domain is going to be um, a set of both x coordinates and y coordinates. So it'll actually, our domain will now be a, a, a two-dimensional, it'll be a region in the, it'll be um, a region in the xy plane, um, is the idea here, instead of a one-dimensional domain. Uh, pretty straightforward, the same thing as normal when you do domain problems. Um, so in the first one here, the natural logarithm of x plus y minus 1. Well, um, you know, what's the restriction on a natural logarithm? Well, basically, whatever's on the inside of a natural logarithm, um, that has to be something that's positive. So our domain is going to will be the um, the set of x and y coordinates that satisfy this relationship, x plus y minus one greater than zero. And if you want to, if you want to think about it, if you wanted to graph, say, the domain. I could subtract the x to the right side and add the 1. So it basically says the y coordinates have to be greater than negative x plus 1. Um, sometimes they'll have you sketch the domain of your function. So if we were going to sketch the domain of our first problem, the domain of the first function, well, negative x plus 1, that's a line that goes through the y-intercept of 1. Um, has a slope of negative 1. And since y has to be strictly greater than that, we use a little dashed line, and the domain would be the set of x and y coordinates above um, that line. So the idea is, if you were to graph this function in three dimensions, um, this is going to be probably a bad little drawing here, x, y, and z, if you were to think about the line y equals negative x plus 1, um, what that's going to look like in the plane, again, it would have a y-intercept of positive 1. Um, so in the plane, this, this dashed line would be this line in the xy plane. So your function, when you go to graph it, it's going to be on the front half um, of that line because, well, again, that's where the x and y coordinates satisfy the original given relationship. Um, so let's do this other one here real quick. Um, square root of y minus x squared over 1 minus x squared. Same basic idea. Um, so we know the stuff underneath the square root has to be greater than or equal to 0. So that's one, uh, one relationship we'll have to satisfy. And the other relationship we'll have to satisfy, well, we don't want the denominator to equal 0. So we'll figure out where it does equal 0, and we'll throw out those particular values. So same idea. If you take the first inequality, if you take the first inequality, you'll simply get y is greater than or equal to x squared. But if we solve the second equation, um, either factor it or just do the square root of each side, or you know, add x squared, take the square root, we'll get x equals positive and negative 1. So again, these are going to be values. So we need the first one to happen. But the second one, we have to exclude these values. So basically, if you want to do, again, sketch the domain of this function, the domain of the function, it says, well, y has to be greater than or equal to x squared. So this time we'll use a solid line. So it says y, so there's the equation y equals x squared. 
we have to leave out the values x equals positive 1 and x equals negative 1. So x equals negative 1, x equals positive 1. We would have to leave those values out of the domain. But then the domain would be everything else. So where is y, when are the y values greater than or equal to the x values on this curve? y equals x squared. Well, that's going to be on the interior, um, sort of the, the part above y equals x squared. Again, we have to leave out x equals negative 1. But all the other values here that I'm shading in real roughly, that would be the domain of the function. So um, the x and y coordinates inside, above the parabola, um, again, excluding the places where x equals positive 1 or negative 1. So same stuff, again, as in first semester calculus. Um, again, the only difference is instead of your domain being a set of numbers, just x values, um, now you're going to get x and y coordinates, so the domain is going to be something in the plane, um, but everything else is the same other than that. So, all right, I hope this video makes some sense. If you have any questions or comments, all, as always, feel free to post them.